What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Luis King Kong Ortiz. Well, actually, this is added news on top of what's already been stated. Okay, we know that Luis Ortiz accuses Wilder of being a dirty fighter, okay, with the illegal blows behind the head. But he has went farther than that. He said not only are they illegal punches, but borderline criminal okay now let me counter punch this real quick <clears throat> everybody knows i'm an ortiz fan you know um i'm riding with ortiz no doubt about it win lose or draw that's who i want to win okay and what ortiz said is absolutely true now, not to be throwing Wilder under the bus, because a lot of people think that I just bash Wilder or whatever, and that's not the case. In fact, I'm going to do a video on that explaining my problems with Deontay Wilder in depth. Anyway, I do agree with Luis Ortiz because of this reason. Hitting someone behind the head is illegal for a reason, okay? It's a reason why that particular blow is not permitted, and the referee should have said something. The referee should have at least acknowledged uh, or warned Deontay Wilder, like, hey, what are you doing? You can't do that, okay? I have no problem with that. You know, cr you know, borderline criminal, I wouldn't say that that's uh, going over the top either. Because if you guys can remember Crickshire Colon, right? Undefeated fighter goes in there and fights this guy, gets hit behind the head, falls into a com coma, wakes up a vegetable, okay? Those are the reason, and that's the number one example on why rabbit punches or behind-the-head punches are illegal, okay? That's why, because you could end up like Pritchard Cologne, you know, bless, you know, God bless his family, you know, and, you know, they haven't gave up on him, but he's a vegetable. Why? Because he was illegally hit behind the head, OK, this was an undefeated fighter. Now, thank God that didn't happen to Luis Ortiz. And I do agree with him. But let me counterpunch this. OK. It's not what Luis King Kong Ortiz said, you know, about the criminal illegal punches, because I've been saying that since day one. Right. However, my problem with Ortiz is. What took you so long? You know, I mean, I understand that, you know, he's proud and, you know, he's a tough Cuban and all, but then it's like this, you know, I, I, I guess he's figuring, well, I don't want any excuses, but those aren't excuses. You were illegally hit. When you're illegally hit with illegal blows, that's not an excuse. Okay. Hell, those are fouls. You know, and the, pro the problem I have with Ortiz, with, with Team Ortiz across the board, why do you see, is it just me, or does Team Ortiz, they're always like three steps behind on everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah, Joshua looking for an opponent. Nobody said nothing from his camp. Two weeks later, oh, I'll fight you, says Ortiz. Where you been two weeks ago? Where was you at then? You know, that's one example. You know, the example with Dillian White. What took you so long? Another example is this example. What took you so long to start speaking up for yourself? It's not snitching. You're speaking up for yourself. This man's filing me. Okay? And yes, it's criminal. It is borderline criminal, but the problem is, hey, uh, if you don't speak, you won't be heard. OK, so now he's putting this, you know, into play and in the first fight, he should have been saying that anyway. Now, needless to say, I guess they were afraid if they said something, they probably wouldn't get a rematch with Wilder because, you know, uh, maybe he might decide, you know what? I don't want to fight Ortiz. Ortiz pissed me off. You know, Uncle Al put me in there with somebody else. Right. You know, it could have been one of those situations, but, you know. It's consistent in Ortiz's team 
to be always three steps behind everything that goes on in as far as business and, you know, and, 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 and replies. Look, I wonder if Ortiz really knows his, his management company. You know, I mean, he's paying these people, so he has to know what they actually do for him. You know, hopefully he gets the $7 million. You know, I hope for his sake, win, lose, or draw. However, it's like they're always doing something after the fact when it's really not. I'm not saying it's not relevant, but it's like, come on, man. You knew it and when that happened, when that happened. That's something, hey, Wilder hit me in the back of the head. He's a dirty fighter. It's almost illegal because that then put people in a vegetable state getting hit like that. Okay, so that's my that's my only problem with Ortiz. You know, he's talking now, but then, dude, you should have been talking all last year. Yeah, I had him. They gave him more time. The dude knocked me down. He hit me behind the head. <laughs> Excuse me. He slung me into the ropes. The, all, all the ref did was like no knockdown. I'm like, dude. So if it wasn't a knockdown, what the hell was it? You know, it was a. It was like a. It was a throw. <laughs> you know, I. I don't know, man. I, I. I look. I really have to question Ortiz's management. Not his trainer, but his management. You know, I question that with Ortiz, because the same things that he could he's saying now he could have been said. You know, I wasn't the only one that seen them rabbit punches. I got it on Facebook page on my Facebook Counter Punch Boxing News. It's a video with Ortiz, and I counted how many times Deontay Wilder battered him behind the head, upside the head, you know? And I just think Ortiz needs to really focus or need, you know, because he, you know, I'm, my job is to fight, but no, he, he needs to be more business savvy. He needs to be, you know, um, which really don't matter if he loses because he admitted in the media workout or the media call, conference call, that this is a do or die fight for him. He might not get an opportunity. You know, everybody's always, you know, saying he's so old. So, you know. But anyway, no, what he said about Wilder, to recap, he said about Wilder was absolutely true. Wilder shouldn't hit people behind the head. It causes permanent damage in most cases, in some cases. Okay, not everyone's like Pritchard Cologne, but there is a reason why that's an illegal punch for the same thing that happened to Pritchard Cologne. You know? So if I'm Ortiz, I have to question my management team. You know, but here's the thing. Ortiz, this is his fault. He didn't say anything about getting hit behind the head. I reached out to this man and said, hey, look, champ, he's he was hitting you behind the head. Go back and watch that fight, that video. You know, I posted that video and then I um, mentioned him. I don't know how many people get mentions, but, you know, I don't think he read it yet. But. I do think, though, um, that Luis Ortiz better prepare himself. Luis Ortiz, you know, he has to know who's in the corner, you know, and he has to know that they that his corner has his best interest at heart. Because if I'm a trainer and I'm looking at one guy battering battering this guy over over across the head, right? I'm gonna say something. Oh yeah. Because that's my fighter. I'm responsible for my fighter. If the ref's not doing anything, I gotta say something. I gotta relay the message back to the ref when we, when we you know, when we take our uh, minute break in between rounds. Like, hey, he's hitting behind the head. He's hitting behind the head, right? But anyway, <laughs> that's my counterpunch to Luis King Kong Ortiz. You guys tell me what you think. Is it criminal? Is it borderline illegal? You guys tell me. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.